Welcome to a new edition of Nick's Tube. Today we're going to be manipulating a photograph. Here I've got a picture of Bruno Mars in its own layer here in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do, let me move my layers closer here. Um, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Now you could do it here from the layers panel. Choose duplicate layer or command J on the keyboard will make a copy of the layer. I'm going to turn off the visibility for the layer underneath and let's go to the filter gallery. Filters are one way that you can manipulate a photograph. If you zoom out in or in in the bottom left hand corner here, you can choose different filter styles. On the right hand side of the filter menu, you can toggle and change the effects any way that you'd like. Sometimes there's some really neat options in the toggle. Plastic wrap, sponge, um, I love these sketch filters. These filters will use, use the colors that you have chosen as your foreground and background color in the toolbox. Ooh, this is a nice one, photocopy. Let me make that a little bit darker. Let me get my details a little bit darker. Okay, I'm, I like that. So because I have the two layers here, one thing that I can do is I can play with layer modes. Oops, wait, hold on. I need to turn this other layer on. Okay, so now what's happening is I am playing around with blending this top layer with the filter on it with the layer below it. And there, you, as you can see, there's some neat options here. How I'm going through these is with the keyboard shortcut shift plus or shift minus. And you have to be on the move tool to make that happen. All right, let me try something else. I'm going to delete that layer. I'm going to try it again. So another way for you to manipulate an image would be in the image adjustments menu. One of the options I really, really like here is the gradient map. If you click on the bar, then you can adjust the gradient and choose whatever colors you'd like. If you go down below, by double clicking, you could bring up the color picker to choose other colors, and you could take images off the line by pulling them down or adding colors, I'm sorry, color, take colors off the line by pulling them down or put colors on the line by clicking below that line as well. So I'm just kind of moving around the colors I do have. I, I really like that. Okay, so that's a good gradient. And again, I could play around with with using the layer modes um, to, to modify that. Let me try a different example. I turned off the layer for the first one. There's another cool one. This one's called Posterize. With Posterize, I can limit my colors in different ways and kind of give it a cartoony, almost pop art effect. I like this. All right, let me create another one. Command, uh, Command J creates another one. Um, here's the black and white filter. With the black and white filter, I can even affect different colors in this way as well. There's so many different ways for you to manipulate a photograph. There's really no reason for you to just leave the photograph as it was. At any time, when you have the Move tool selected, Shift Plus and Shift Minus will scroll through those layer modes. I think I like this one the best. I'm going to create a new layer now. I'm going to call this layer gradient and I'm going to put a color into the background and I want that color. Now here's my gradient picker in a different place, right? Notice how I'm using the eyedropper tool to pick up different color, double clicking on the box, using the eyedropper tool to pick up different colors that are in my image. And whoops, hold on. Let me do that again. Okay. So I got blue. Let me do blue and I want to pick up that pink too. Double click. Um, I could pick it from the picker or I could use the eyedropper to pick it from my project itself. Okay, I'm going to grab my gradient tool and I've got different gradient options here. I'm going to use the diamond, right? This is the circle, sorry. Um, and the further you pull this, this um, tool here, the bigger the, the circle gradient effect that I'm getting. I really like this where I'm going with this. Now, let me add a layer style, right? He's already got like a little bit of a halo behind his head. I, I didn't do a fantastic selection. So let me go around. Oh, I just I like this, right? Now I really have that image starting to pop off the page. And that's kind of what I was looking for. I really wanted that image to pop off because I'm creating a concert poster for Bruno Mars. And if I was doing that, I'd really want to see that effect. Now, remember when you're in the layer modes panel to click on the title of the piece so that you can make something happen. All right, and I think that we're good here. Um, I'm going to move some layers around. I'm going to try a brush layer now. Let me put a brush layer in here. I want it to be behind my figure of him, but above my background. I'm just going to see if I can find a brush here. Um, I like this bokeh brush. Maybe I'm going to add this. Um, the color, I want it to be that. Let me pick up that blue color in his hair there. Okay, let me grab the brush. I'm going to put it into this. Layer, make it a little bit bigger. The brackets next to the letter P make the brush bigger or smaller just to give that background some texture. Now I can slide this layer below my gradient and try putting a mode on the gradient layer or I can have it be above the gradient and then put a mode on it as well. Again, Shift Plus scrolls through the layer modes when you are on the Move tool. The Move tool has to be highlighted and then it's blending the layer that you have selected or highlighted in the Layers panel. 
like this darkened one. Multiply is a great one. It works in so many levels. Let me see what happens if I pull my gradient below the brush. Now here, now let me play with the mode on the brush layer here. Ooh, I kind of like this. Okay, what if I lowered the opacity a little bit? I like this as well. Okay. I'm going to create one more layer for another brush, right? If the more layers you have with different things on them, the more you are able to manipulate or change this image because every layer can have a different mode or have a different style on it. And that's kind of the neat thing. And sometimes one really well placed brush is all you need. This is kind of a fancy kind of splattery brush. And I can use um, this option to bring up my brushes panel. I'm rotating the brush here because I actually want it to be in a different direction. So it's using up the other half of the space there. Nice. Kind of fills out and balances my composition. Okay. Thank you for watching.